Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. I'm excited to try some new makeup. Did you guys even notice like how short my hair is now? I chopped my hair off basically um, during quarantine. I already filled in my brows. Um, I actually did not buy um, a Makeup Revolution brow product. I'm sorry. I know in the last video when I did a full face at NYX, I also did not have a NYX brow product. So I already went ahead and filled in my brows. And I have not carved out the brows or put a sh uh, eyeshadow base. So that's what we're going to start off with. I did purchase a Makeup Revolution concealer. I went ahead and repurchased, um, but I actually got this in a different shade. Uh, the first one that I originally purchased a while back was C3. And then when I went ahead and bought a new one, it's C4.5. So hopefully this is good, a good match for concealer. I'm going to go ahead and use this Makeup Revolution concealer to carve the brows out and to use this as my eyeshadow base. About that much. I think it's actually like a little bit darker than the C3. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of the whatever's left of C3. You guys already know I've shown you this process over and over in my videos, so I don't really have to explain much. I was a little heavy handed with the brows today, but I actually kind of like it. I really like this concealer. Like I said, I've used it before, and this is just a repurchase. I bought some setting powder. Well, this isn't really setting powder. It's baking powder, and I got it in two different shades. So this one's in the shade Translucent. So this one's like for brightening for a fair to light skin tones to brighten under the eyes. I'm actually going to take the Translucent one first, and I'm going to use that to kind of um set the concealer a little bit of that translucent translucent what what <laughs> i meant to say i'm gonna set my concealer with the translucent strong arch going on today <laughs> i like a strong arch don't get me wrong but i mean damn I have a few eyeshadow palettes. I did purchase a new one. Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever Palette. Looks like this. I have three that I already own from previous, like from I bought a while ago. The oldest Makeup Revolution palette that I own is this one here. And I've, I've made videos using this palette. This one's a Revolution Self X eyeshadow palette it's pretty dirty so don't mind that but this is what this one looks like I've, like I said I've used this one before I've shown it in videos before and stuff makeup revolution courage wild animal palette it looks like this I believe I also used this in videos too in more recent ones but this is what this one looks like I'm not quite sure if I've made a video using this one I believe I have um, so this is another Makeup Revolution palette that I have here. Reloaded Euphoria palette. And it looks like this. This has more bright colors in it. A couple shimmers in there. And I believe I've also used this before in videos. I'm no stranger to their eyeshadow palettes. And I believe that this is the palette that I'm going to use in today's video. It looks like this. Very neutral. You could do a nice glam eyeshadow with this palette or something quick and fast depending on, you know, what the mood is. Very user friendly shades in this palette. So, I don't know. I might dip into some of these. I might just use this only. I'm gonna go in with these Real Technique brushes. This one here, the little smaller shader one, this one's called Base Shadow Brush. And this more fluffier one that you can kind of use to blend is called Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. I'm actually going to go in with the orange shade first. And then I'm going to go in with this one here. And then I'm going to go in with that one there. Okay, that's going to be my look. That's going to be my color situation. This is a Real Techniques 301 brush. 
and kind of like pack it in the crease first. I really enjoy the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. They are pretty darn good. NYX and Makeup Revolution eyeshadows are like my favorite like drugstore affordable eyeshadows. You know, you're gonna take this orange shade pretty high. And then I'm gonna switch over to this deluxe crease brush and you know fluff out this orangey shade that we have. I tried to curl my hair today and I think it was an epic fail. Actually, I know it is an epic fail. Um, let's ignore it. It's kinda cute, kinda not cute, um, messy. <laughs> okay so yeah i'm just blending this pretty much from my crease all the way up to the brow bone because i'm going in with three different crease shades so it's pretty much going to be peeking through a little by my brows i'm going to go in with the second layer and so i'm going to go in the crease again kind of pack it in the crease And blend it out we're gonna switch over to the next shade this came in a boxy charm I mean this came in my boxy charm I think it was July I think this came in my July boxy charm box very cool that I got something like this because it actually comes in handy I'm gonna go in with man is this like the other look that I did you know what it is this is gonna be like the same fucking look that i did last time you know what i want to kind of get away from that a little i don't want to use this green shade green is a little different purple shimmer i like purple it's either going to be green or purple and i'm going to go ahead into this one here with the same brush in the crease as well Look at that, like what, what? Pick up a little bit of that orange shade and just blend out this color here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here. I mean, holy guacamole. I'm like not surprised, but then I kinda am. I feel like a peanut butter Reese's right now with like the orange packaging and like the chocolate colors very much that right now i'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer the new one that i just bought the c4.5 pack some concealer on the eyelid and then look you guys already know you guys already know this revolution palette right here This is uh, different. <laughs> I'm gonna take that dark, the darkest shade that I used in the crease, that dark chocolate brown shade. This is like s pumpkin spice with a little bit of purple, pop of purple, with a little bit of Halloween. <laughs> Perfect for fall. This is what my makeup is looking like. This here is the Revolution Matte and Fix Primer. So this is a mattifying primer. I love a good mattifying primer, a pore filling primer, a oil controlling primer. So this is right up my alley. About this much. I only ever use primer in the T-zone. My skin is very up and down because I have to wear a mask at work. And I sweat while I'm working. Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. 8.8 fluid ounces in here. So almost a fluid ounce, a little bit under. I have it in the shade F3.5. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a good shade. Oh man, I, my foundation shade has been a little bit too light for me. I pretty much, pretty, oh my god, my hand looks like I've been playing in makeup for real, for real. 
I'm gonna go ahead take this oh my god like this is like I prefer a pump okay this is not very sanitary but whatever so I guess I'm just going to do the pimples on my neck oh, lord it says full coverage I definitely need some full coverage also I'm on my period so like I definitely get ho like hormonal breakouts under my neck <laughs> since I came in the mail so it's definitely not oh my freaking lord dude I got foundation all up in my hair like really really foundation on my forehead what are you thinking Kimberly Eliza Corral what are you thinking girlfriend okay let me go in with concealer I'll go ahead and get a little closer for you guys it was like a medium coverage with the first layer and then if I went in with the second layer it did build up coverage. My skin still looks like skin, uh, which is nice. Go back to these baking powders that I got. It's banana light, and this is a brightening powder for under the eyes. So, let's test it out. Am I baking right? I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. Is it brightening? Bro, with this powder. Take the translucent one and just set the rest of the face. Yeah, we can move into the lashes while we wait to bake. I mean, I didn't really actually like bake that hard, you know? So here is a close-up. Well, first of all, let me dust off some of this powder. And this is the Revolution roxy uh contour and highlight palette this is what it looks like really pretty packaging so these four here are highlighters and then these four shades here are contour powders so i'm gonna go ahead with this shade here for blush i got a oh my god this is not gonna match my <laughs> This blush doesn't really go with my eye makeup. Um, it's a peachy blush. This is called Peach Bliss. Hmm. <laughs> what was I thinking? Blend it into my contour back here. Oh, makeup Revolution. This is the Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. So this is what I'm looking like right now. Cute. There's no shade names. So I'm just going to go in with uh, this one here. Stunning. Stunning. I think I'm going to use that same highlight shade and put it in the inner corners. This is a pout bomb plumping lip gloss with vitamin e and i got it in the shade kiss smells like mint like spearmint gum or something like that it just feels really minty on the lips i'm gonna go back in with the iconic fever palette and i'm gonna use these two shades right here i'm gonna go in with this shade first up of my makeup anyway if you guys watched this video all the way through thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate that i hope you guys like my makeup i hope you guys 
found it entertaining a little bit and i'm gonna let you guys go so you guys can enjoy the rest of the day and i will see you guys in the next video bye